So Rick and I headed out this morning at about nine o'clock. We weren't gonna be meeting Kirsty and John till 11 for our breakfast. We walked through a beautiful graveyard and a park. There was the castle was always looming in the distance. It was a kind of misty day, really added to the atmosphere. a garden to the Queen's Jubilee. We continued until we got to the National Art Gallery of Scotland. Unfortunately, the gallery with Scottish art was closed. It was being enlarged and improved. But it was a really beautiful building that we were in. We didn't have that much time before having to move on. And then we met up with Kirsty and John for brunch at the Edinburgh Larder. We waited about half an hour to get in, but it was well worth it. I have a locally sourced menu. I had Scottish breakfast tea. Rick and John had a full English breakfast. They had sausage and egg and black pudding and tomato and toast and beans. And Kirsty and I had hash, poached egg and warm smoked salmon. And we walked on and Watched a few street entertainment entertainers along the way. a bottle of whiskey and then headed to the show. That was Rick's choice. We headed to a show that we already had tickets to called The Importance of Being Earnest. It was very clever, very good. A takeoff on Oscar Wilde's play. Then we left and we went to the National Museum of Scotland, which is free and huge. Kind of overwhelming. We had about two hours there. Of course, we gravitated to the section on Coast Salish art. was impressed by this 17th century fashion. And we walked on until finally we came to the Scottish history section, which was six floors. I feel like I understood Scottish history a little bit better. And then we discovered a painting by my ancestor, Alexander Naismith. He was a portrait and landscape artist. Eventually they told us we had to leave. And then tonight we had dinner at a bistro, Saint Honoré. And when we came out, there were beautiful fireworks happening over the castle. <laughs>